everyone. How is everyone on today? I am going to talk with you just for a short while on Proverbs chapter 12, verse 10. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 10. And in here it says that in verse 10, a righteous man regarded the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. And so when we look at this verse, when a, a righteous man is regarded the life of his beast. See, God's way of righteous living includes kindness even to animals. And we see a lot of times people are mistreating animals. Uh, they're not treating them right. They're beating them. You know, they're not feeding them. They're keeping them out in the hot sun. And they're doing those things. But right here, God's way of righteous living includes kindness even to animals because God created everything, right? And he created the earth. He created everything there of in it. He created the animals. He created all those things. And so uh, when you have an animal, you do have to take care of your animal according to the word of God in here, you know, because uh, animals are a massive part of life on earth. And when God created our world, he created all sorts of animals, created animals of all sorts of shapes, sizes, and colors, and he intended them to cover the planet with life. And so, uh, you know, we just have to make sure that we are taking care of them. And then, you know, there's people out here that have advocated, you know, for uh, veganism and animal rights. They have advocated for it. But again you know we have to take care of um the animals we need to make sure uh you know that we are not hating on animals that we're not mistreating them and that we are constantly uh being kind to the animals as well and animals are useful to humans for companionship we see that where uh you know companionship and they you know you heard a man's best friend a dog is a man's best friend and so animals are used for companionship. You know, my uh, a dog, I've had many, love them, Australian Shepherd, and he did pass away. Uh, my dog did, and I miss him. You know, I miss him a lot, but he was old, you know, uh, you know, and so he just wasn't, uh, you know, he, he, he succumbed, you know, and so, uh, but we, we know that animals are useful for companionship. Uh, they're useful for working. We see working dogs. We see canines. You know, we see dogs hoarding. We see them working on the fields and, and tending to the animals and making sure that they get back to the farm or wherever they came from. We see the sheep dogs and animals out there. And they even uh, used for food dogs. And they should never be mistreated or used in a cruel manner. And when we look at uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, and I'm going to go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. And right here in verse 28, it says, And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over everything living that moveth up on the earth. And so when he, man and woman were charged with being fruitful and ruling over the earth, an animal kingdom is right there in the word. And they were created to form, you know, the family relationships, you know, but this stated purpose of God in creation indicates that he considers a godly family and the raising of children of utmost priority in the world. Also, he expected them to consecrate all things in the earth to him and to manage it in a God glorifying way, fulfilling the divine purpose. Also, the future of the earth was placed under their dominion. And when they sinned, they brought ruin, futility and suffering to God's creation. It is the work of Jesus Christ alone to restore the earth to his perfect place and function at his coming at the end of this age. Romans 8, 19 through 25. But he's talking about these things that God's way of righteous living includes kindness to animals. So in righteous living is not just righteous living with humans, but also with animals. And if we go to Deuteronomy chapter 25, verse 4 in Deuteronomy, Thou shalt not mosel the ox when he treaded out the corn. You know, and, and this commandment also provided that working animals be given sufficient feed to maintain strength and health. Meaning you can't starve your dogs. You got to give them water, 
fresh water. You got to feed them. You got to give them food, you know, and they were to be treated humanely, not inhumanely, but humanely and rewarded for their labor. That's why they come up with treats for animals. You know, they get treats and things like that. And you let them go out and take them out for their walks or you take them out in the field and let them graze, you know, and, or, you know, you take them out and maybe you have a horse that you ride, you know, just to get the horse out there to get some exercise and feel good. You know, even more people deserve fair treatment for their labor. And see, the New T Testament applies this principle to ministers of the gospel. Those who labor in the ministry of a Christian institution should be paid reasonable, fair wages. And so it's so important that not only do we live righteous as human beings, but we also are kind even to the animals. And so with that being said, you all, uh, I hope that you like the shorter videos and I hope that you will be able to uh, listen to them. Share these videos. You never know. Uh, these shorter videos might help even when we're doing our longer videos and Bible study. But however, I also like to be able to bring the word in shorter matters. So it's something for everyone on this channel, the Stand Up Be Counted To channel. So I invite you to come over, take a look, join in in the Bible studies, you know, look at the videos, listen to them, you know, go back and study the scriptures that are provided to you. And if you're not a subscriber, sign up on the channel to become a subscriber so you and, and hit the all notification that will give you all of the notifications uh, that pop up. So with that being said, again, you all God bless each and every one of you love you. And I pray that you will have a blessed uh, rest of your day, a blessed day, uh, you know, coming forward and even in the week that you will be blessed in all things. God bless you.